until I see the video feed on YouTube come up. So I'm assuming that um, you guys can hear me and I'll find out here if I need to re-record this in a minute and I can't see the camera. Uh, so I'm going to spin this around and see. Okay, we are live. I'm going to have to turn on the mic just a second, make sure the audio is working. All right, that is good. All right, so uh, welcome. I'm uh, David LDS Prepper, your host today for this live call. You know, one thing I noticed is that these glasses look like Coke bottle glasses on the internet. It's uh, interesting. Um, but anyway, they're not Coke bottle glasses. I have been considering getting LASIK. My daughter-in-law's had that, and uh, I'm just kind of afraid of having people slice my eyeball. But at any rate, um, if you guys can hear me, just say something in the, in the comment section. And uh, that way I know that this is working and I can see that uh, you guys are there. Uh, I need to go over on another channel. And let's go over here and make sure that this is working. Let's go here. Okay, very good. All right, uh, some several analysis to begin with. Today we're gonna to be talking primarily about protecting your home. So any questions you have about home security, please post them and uh, we'll address them on this call. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward call. I don't anticipate it lasting too long, but uh, very, very important uh, subject. So let me just, let me adjust this a little bit. Um, okay, so uh, it says I worked. Uh, sounds like the audio is working. Okay, very good. All right. Um, first of all, uh, very excited this morning. I got a phone call from the post office saying that they had my quail eggs, and I've been raising quail for about a year now. And uh, it's time to, uh, uh, for me, I'm just gonna replace the quail. And so we will harvest the, the, all the quail that I have, the males and the females, the roosters and the hens. And we will um, put the, we'll harvest them for meat and uh, the ones that I have right now. And those are all dark meat and it's just fabulous tasting meat, very clean, very healthy, uh, very, very low fat, as a matter of fact. Um, some people actually add fat to their quail. We don't. Um, so I'm excited to uh, put the 110 quail eggs into my uh, in incubator. So I will be videoing that and updating you on raising quail. I do sell quail eggs. I do sell the, the chicks. Um, the reason why I started selling them is because about a year ago, uh, my friends were telling me uh, that they weren't able to find chicken and eggs and milk in the um, grocery stores. Uh, due to supply chain issues. Um, my, wife, my wife raises chickens, so we have chicken eggs. Uh, the reason why I went directly to quail, so once I heard that from a couple of people, I simply went to myshirefarm.com my, my to get the best quality quail eggs uh, I could get. I don't have any affiliation with them, but that's where I get my quail eggs. Uh, I think they have the best uh, type of quail for raising uh, for meat and for eggs. So anyway, so I, I, um, I've been raising quail for about a year. Uh, the hens are at the peak performance for the first uh, 12 months, males for six months. So I've replaced the males uh, already. But um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to raising those quail, uh, uh, putting them in the incubator and, and sharing that process with you. So the, uh, um, I've got them in my office right now and uh, I'll be putting them in the incubator tomorrow. So if you want to learn more about raising quail, the advantages to raising quail, I sell 30 eggs for $13.50. So you can divide the math on that uh, per egg. So it's a very good profit uh, product. It's a niche product. You'll find a very strong um, interest in the Asian and the Brazilian markets. Also, um, my customers who are allergic to 
chicken eggs by the quail eggs. Uh, I have a customer who's interested in having children, so this is supposed to help them in that process. It's considered a high, um, uh, a superfood for all the you know, nutritional values. You can just uh, search that on, on the internet. So excited about that. That's the first announcement. Uh, second announcement, we had a lot of interest, um, lots of questions with my son uh, last Saturday on EMP, how to prepare for an EMP, how to protect your items for an EMP, and also off-grid portable solar power. So if you haven't seen that from last week, go back and watch that uh, present uh, that discussion. And then we also recorded a follow-up discussion, a Q&A, where we finished up answering some of the questions. And I'll be posting that here as soon as I can. I've got a, uh, after this uh, broadcast, I've got a, uh, my group from the Ham Radio Club is coming over, and they're going to be doing a tour of the property of the greenhouse and the solar and the quail and the the uh, you know our off grid uh, uh, property here. So that's exciting. So I want to get into the to security and uh, let you know that I have been in the security industry for or, or was in the security industry. I'm not currently full time in the security industry uh, for quite a while. Um, installed a lot of alarms, sold a lot of alarms, did a lot of home inspections, saw a lot of things in apartments and in homes. And so I'm taking all those years of experience and trying to condense them into what do I need to do as a homeowner or as a renter to protect my abode, my dwelling, whether it's an apartment, whether you're, you own the home, whether you're renting it, uh, whether you're in a, uh, uh, you know, some kind of a shelter, you know, what do you do to protect it? Now, there's several things to do with that. We're going to be going over an alarm system today. And there are several alarm systems out there um, right now. I'm gonna to talk to, to you about the one that I, I use and the one that I recommend. I contacted the company to get a discount uh, rate for you. Uh, they, I've spoken with them. They haven't sent me that link yet, but I, I anticipate probably on Tuesday, so that would be uh, March 9th, I think, um, I will have a link. So the link will be ldsprepper.com forward slash Fortress. And this is the system I'm talking about. This is from, this is from Fortress a Security Store. So ldsprepper.com slash Fortress. You can see the name right here. Right. Um, and hopefully that will give you a discount. So other than that, I don't have any association with them, but uh, you will not be able to get this particular system that I'm going to show to you and recommend to you today on Amazon, although that link right now will take you to the base system on Amazon and kind of give you an idea on, um, on, on that. But this system here, for everything that it includes, is half the price of other popular brand uh, systems that you hear advertised on the radio and, and so forth all the time. Uh, one thing I like about this is that this is a, from the way I have it set up, it is a standalone system. It does not call uh, an alarm company. There's no service you sign up for. Uh, it does not dial 911. It, it doesn't do any of that. But it makes a lot of noise. And it works with my mobile phone. So uh, anything happens, I get a notice on my phone. Actually, my phone will have a siren that will turn on. So if I'm asleep, and someone um, you know, enters the garage door, uh, not only will the house siren go on, but my phone, there's a siren on the phone that will go on. It's just a really, really good product. So I'm gonna go through this product and show you um, how, what comes with it, how we have it set up, and why it's so important. So um, when I was working with security systems in California, um, we were renting a home. We had our security system installed in that home. And these systems are made, I mean, you can literally take them when you leave. If you're renting, you can just you know, take them off uh, the, the doors and windows and the motion sensors and so forth. Um, we were in bed. I heard some uh, noise outside. Uh, we had a, a very nice home in a very nice community, but there was a big field, a farmer's field, behind, directly behind our house on the other side of the gate. And then down on the other side of that field was uh, um, uh, apartment buildings. 
So it was like uh, one or two o'clock in the morning, uh, about one o'clock in the morning. I heard some noise. I got up. I'm on the second store uh, of story of our of our home. I look out the back window and I see three guys climbing the fence. Not my backyard fence, but my neighbor's backyard fence. Now, um, so I, and I looked out my other window and I could see that my neighbor was still up. I don't know what they're doing at one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I, I was certainly asleep, but they were still up. They were downstairs. They, I could see them and the, they had the lights on, the TV on. You could see through the kitchen window. And these three uh, per, people, uh, men, climbed up the fence and they were actually, uh, my neighbor had bars on the outside window. Like I said, this is California, right? They, and they were Hispanic, so that's kind of the tradition of the of that uh, culture because they had bars on the outside of the windows downstairs and upstairs and these two of the three guys grabbed the bars from downstairs and climbed up those bars and were trying to get into the second story window and I of course I opened my window I yelled at them they completely ignored me I said I'm gonna call the police they completely ignored me and then when I told them that I had a firearm that's when they literally dropped from the second floor and uh, windows that they were trying to break into, ran through the backyard, jumped the fence, and ran across the field. So that was kind of like, aha, uh -huh, all right. So uh, yelling at them didn't bother them, threatening them with police didn't bother them, but uh, in letting me know that um, I had a way to defend myself and my, and my neighbors, that is what was the deterrent. So that was a good lesson, and, and since then we, we have that, we've taken care of that part of our security. Another situation, I was also in California. I was uh, selling security systems at that time, and I had parked my vehicle uh, on the road, and on the right side was a um, single dwelling homes, and it had a, a, a probably a seven or eight foot t tall um, brick wall, and on the other side of the road was another seven or eight foot tall brick wall, and this was all apartments over here. So I'm sitting there kind of getting organized to do my canvassing and uh, I sell to both the apartments and to the to the individual homes. And I see, again, three guys jump over this uh, brick wall from the apartments. They walked across the street in front of my car and two of them jumped the wall uh, over to the single dwelling homes. This is the middle of the day. This is like two or three o'clock in the afternoon, not one, two o'clock in the morning. Excuse me. And... Uh, so I'm, that's kind of curious. So I'm doing some paperwork here. And then a few minutes later, uh, I see stuff start flying over the wall, um, like um, plasma TV, stereos, some other things I, I didn't identify. And so apparently the, the other two guys had gone over to the other side, broken into a home, started taking things and were throwing it over the wall to their friend who was catching them on, on the street side. Uh, a few minutes later, the two other guys jump over the wall, or actually it was very quickly. They all three ran across the street, jumped the wall again, threw stuff over, and went over to the apartments. So what I did is I went, um, this, uh, this was before cell phone times for sure, but uh, so I uh, couldn't call the police for my car. But I went over and canvassed that area for the homes and then uh, installed some security systems over there. And then I went over to the apartments because I knew at the apartments that is uh, that they were going to steal from each other. And that's exactly what happened. I actually sold more alarms in the apartments than I did in the, the homes because when they found that somebody else had something that they had just stolen from somebody else and so somebody would break in that apartment from their apartment and steal that stuff. So it's just it's just nuts. It really bothers me. There's not very many things that I hate in life, but I really hate that those who have have to protect what they have from those who want what they have. Um, that people don't respect our rights and all the work and labor and sacrifice that we've gone through to build uh, what we have and they think that they can just come over and take it. So I'm going to tell you right now the number one most important thing that you can have for your home safety uh, on a budget okay and I'm going to show you that right now and so as I as I talk to people um, about home security 
Um, and they said, well, you know, we can't afford a system. And, and I, I can appreciate everybody only ha you know, has so much money a month. I appreciate that. But the most valuable thing I have isn't stuff. The most valuable thing I have is my wife. And, and, it's not, and that's not a thing. The most valuable... I, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Okay, She's worth more than anything else. But what I have found is that when people come to take your stuff, you're just an object in the way. And so they don't see you as a person, as a human, um, a, as a neighbor. They, they're just there to get you out of the way. And if that's going to include physical harm, then that's what it's going to include. And so we have to be prepared for that. Um, I've seen that when I was in Texas. Uh, again, we lived in a very nice community. It was a, a guarded community, a gated community with guards, uh, patrol cars. The sheriffs were in there patrolling. And on the other side of the wall was a, a new development. And I uh, woke up one morning and heard on the news that a uh, family just a few houses down in that development, they were up watching TV with their family. Um, they had some self-protection. They had some firearms in the home. But they were relaxed. It was early in the morning, like one or two o'clock in the morning. And uh, uh, several men came in with baseball bats and beat the family to death. And again, in a nice neighborhood. Uh, they had, uh, so anyway, uh, it happens to good people. And it's very, very frustrating for me. At any rate, so the number one thing that you can have, in my opinion, all over the outside of your house is a sticker letting people know that you have a security system. Now you may or may not have a security system, but this is a big deterrent because these people are generally cowards and they're looking for an easy target. And so make sure that you have stickers on your front doors, your back doors, your windows, um, so that people know or at least see that, hey, there's these, they have a security system here. So that's the first thing I get. You can go over uh, to use the link at ldsprepper.com slash fortress and get some of these stickers. Uh, that link will take you right now to Amazon or you can get these at, um, you know, at the uh, fortress store. But get those up. That's the first thing. Um, if you're not buying a security system next week, uh, then get some stickers next week. Okay. Or today. So I say next week because the, the discount code will be available next week. So stickers everywhere. When you approach my property, there is a big sign. I have a large sign that says uh, property under surveillance. And it's right underneath my exterior camera. So we'll be talking about exterior camera, cameras, security cameras, and another, another broadcast. And I also have motion sensitive uh, devices that will set off alarms. So if somebody crosses the, the property line... Uh, it picks up four-legged and two-legged intruders. So uh, get some stickers, get signs up on the outside of your house so people go, oh, well, I don't want to hit this one because there's a chance that they have a, a alarm will go off and so they'll go, to, they'll go to your neighbors that don't have a security system, okay, somewhere else. So that's the number one thing that I would recommend that you get as soon as possible. If you don't have them up, get them in your windows. Um, I'm going to go through this box here and I'm just going to take things out so you can see this box is chock full. I didn't count how many things are in here, but it's chock full of things. And I've saved everything here and I pulled some things down. Uh, this here is an external siren. Now, this is very, very important. And my neighbors know, my closest neighbor, uh, that when they hear this, they are to call me because. When I installed my security system, and I tell this to everybody I used to sell security systems for, is do not activate your external uh, wireless alarm, a self-powered alarm, uh, a siren, until for a week or two as you get used to your system. So in case you have false alarms, uh, doesn't you, you're not rattling your neighbors. What I like about this system, and again, this system I'm sharing you with you is not on Amazon. It is, um, you know, the link will be live to the Fortress store uh, probably on Tuesday. But at any rate, um, this is a, uh, I can put this up in the attic. This is where it is, up in the attic. It's facing 
through the little vents at the end of my house towards my neighbor's house. And this thing is loud. I don't know what the uh, decibels is on it, but it is a screamer. So if, if even if the, someone rips the alarm off the wall, the, the control panel, this keeps running because it's uh, once it's triggered, it's going to run for at least 60 seconds. You can set the, the duration on it and it's going to it's going to scream. And so my neighbors know that uh, whenever they hear that, they are to call me um, and make and find out if they need to come with the uh, for assistance um, or if I'm dealing with the situation or if it's a false alarm. So very, very important. You want to make a lot of noise, a lot of noise. Now, I mentioned that these are the most important things for alarm system, but the most important thing for outside is lighting. Uh, these people don't like lighting. However, middle of the day is not a problem. Uh, when I was in California and sold security systems, I had one of my uh, customers who we installed the system. Uh, they came home and the front door had been kicked in. They came home after work and the front door had been kicked in. And at that particular time, I was selling a completely a self-contained unit that had a built-in siren. So it is the one that I have here. This fortress has a built-in siren. The people kicked in the front door and uh, set the siren off inside the house and outside the house. They Apparently they left, the sirens went off after five minutes, they reset, and but when they came back in the house, the um, infrared system set off the siren again. So even though they thought they had disarmed the, the, the security system because they had infrared motion sensor, when they came back in the home, it set the siren off again. So my customer came home, this, their alarm system was torn up, but nothing was stolen from their house. So the number one uh, entry into a home for a burglar is your front door. Typically the scenarios, they'll just come up and knock on your front door They'll see if anybody's home. They'll see if anybody sees them in the neighborhood. They'll take a step back and they'll just put the big foot through the door. They'll just literally kick the door in. If an alarm doesn't go off, then they're going to walk in the house and close the door and then no one can see them and they're the free reign. Um, that was the situation uh, in with my customer there in California. Um, well, also when I was living over there, it's not California in particular. I'm just telling you where I was at the time. But uh, we had a home, uh, a neighborhood watch program. And I was canvassing my street that I lived on, kind of a big U. And I was telling the neighbors, hey, I live here. I sell security systems. If you're interested, I'm, you know, I'd be glad to help you. I'll give you a free estimate, let you know what you might need and so forth. And uh, my neighbor mentioned, you know, um, that they had a, uh, and there were signs that says neighborhood watch. She had mentioned that she had saw somebody at her neighbor's house. Um, and then uh, they went inside the house, a big van pulled up, backed up into the driveway, the garage door opened, and they were bringing out TVs and furniture and all kinds of stuff and filling up this van. Well, she watched all this as a good neighbor with the neighborhood watch program but did not know that that house was being robbed. She thought they, they sold furniture or something, you know, were selling the furniture to get new furniture or something like that. So uh, that house obviously didn't have an alarm, but their neighbor who watched the whole thing happen uh, didn't know that that was a burglary. So uh, you need something that will notify you. I can't show you my phone right now because I'm recording from it, but this system uh, works uh, through the internet and like I mentioned earlier, will set off an alarm, it sends notices, whatever, as long as the uh, Wi-Fi is working. Now, this is a totally wireless system. Uh, the modules uh, look like this. And this is a door window module and they have little uh, 3M sticky stickers on the back that hold it in place. I don't know if I can get a focus on that or not, if that helps. Um, yeah, and uh, so you can pull them off when you leave. They, they, they stick really well. Um, I lost my train of thought. Uh, anyway, at any rate, um, hmm, don't remember where I, was going, where I was going with that. So um, this system comes with an external siren. In my book, that's very, very important. It lets your neighbors know 
but don't rely on your neighbors, but let them know, hey, there could be something happening here. So have an external uh, siren. It also has a siren built into the control panel and it has an additional super crazy loud siren that will plug into that uh, control panel. Now, this is powered by the control panel and has to be by the control panel. And if they unplug this, uh, the power goes away so this alarm turns off. That's not the case with this, okay? That keeps running. So if they unplug this, uh, this is running, this is sitting off a siren, but there's also a siren built into the control panel. And if they un unplug the control panel from the power, that siren keeps running because there's a battery built into it. This whole system's like $250, super cheap, okay? It's, it's double or triple the price to get the same components with other name brand monitoring, monitoring systems that you can pay for $15 a month. And um, I had a friend who uh, had a home security monitoring system and he was a, a multimillionaire. It's a very, very profitable business. Um, very low overhead. You, you get that monthly income every month. And he was, he did very, very, very well, sold that for multiple millions of dollars. Um, but even he told me, you know, the, all they could really do is contact the police. And then the police are <clears throat> minutes away when seconds count. And the police will tell you that they're there to, you know, well, when we were burglarized in Washington state and had over $20,000 of our, uh, possessions and Christmas presents stolen, um, they, they said, we're here to write the report up. That was it. I mean, the event was over, the person was gone, or the people were gone, and, and uh, they were there to file the report. So um, we had, of course, we were at church. We had no idea what was going on until we pulled up to, the, to, to our front of the house and saw my daughter's TV sitting in the driveway because apparently they didn't have any more room in the vehicle because they had stolen so much stuff to put the TV in. So it's kind of a scary thing when you walk into your house knowing that somebody's violated your property and you don't know if they're still there or not. Um, so always call the police. But anyway, so these are um, door and window uh, alarms. This comes with eight, eight of them here, a whole stack of them. All right, a whole bunch of these guy right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a lot of them. Um, and so if you've got a, a couple doors and a few windows, uh, put, put them on everywhere you can. Get as many of these as you can. This came with eight. This is ample for us because we have uh, upstairs and downstairs the uh, motion sensor. Um, and these are do not go off with uh, pets. So your cat, your dog will not set these off. So put these on the doors and windows. Uh, I noticed uh, when I uh, um, was, was uh, working on this, I took the back cover off and I saw that the sensor was on one side of this, the main, the main unit here. So you want to put the magnet on the same side of that sensor. And it doesn't make a difference if it's oriented like this or like this or like that. It doesn't make any difference. But uh, always test it and get that set up. So my wife and I discussed when we installed this where we wanted those sensors to be because we don't have one on every single door and window. Uh, but we certainly have one on the front door. That's an instant alarm. We have one on the exterior garage door. We have one on the interior garage door. We have them on many of the, uh, uh, um, the, the easy to access windows. We have them on four of the easy access windows here. Uh, we have it on the back door. And those are all set to immediate uh, alarm. So. When we're home, we always have the security system turned on and it's on home mode. And that home mode allows us to hear a beep, but doesn't immediately turn the alarm on. But if I'm sitting in my office or uh, she's um, in her office or whatever, and she hears a beep and she knows I'm in my office and she's in the kitchen and she hears a beep, we know that we don't know who just uh, opened that door. And actually it doesn't, it's not a beep. It says um, zone one open or zone three open. And so we know that zone one is the front door, zone two is the outside garage door. So you actually program them, you program them wherever you want, just stick them up. Once you have them up, then you program them on the app on the phone. Uh, very important so you know what's going on. So you have eight of those. Uh, then in this packet, it comes with three of the motion sensors. So we've got them upstairs, we've got them downstairs, 
Uh, another good place is to have it in the garage. So if somebody comes to that garage door and you know leave that garage door open, their alarm resets, they come back into the garage, uh, then that's going to reset because they, they trigger the motion sensor. So um, it's very, very good value for the kit here. Uh, we also have these. Um, there's another one. Um, these uh, fobs. And so we can set the house on uh, alarm for an, while we're gone. We can set for when we're at, set at home. We can turn the alarm off. And there's an SOS on here. So that if uh, there's, you know, it's an emergency button. So hopefully you can see that. So uh, it comes with a couple of those, actually three of those. So this system is built for a home or a small business. So you can, uh, for example, give these to your employees. These are uh, RFID key tags. And what this will allow them to do, if I can get this to focus, is that the people who have this will be able to walk into your, uh, go into your business, say your manager, and they'll swipe this across the panel and it deactivates the panel. So they don't, they don't have the code, they, they don't know what the code is, but this will deactivate the panel and they cannot set the alarm with that. Somebody else has to set the alarm. Okay, so we've got several of those here. Looks like we've got uh, four of those. Uh, it also has a, a panic button. Now this is actually set up. You notice that there's a little dongle there. Uh, I think that's what it's called. And so you can actually uh, give this to, I could give this to my mother and she could wear this around her neck as a necklace, you know, under her clothes, under her shirt. And if she ha had a, uh, a health issue, which would be my primary concern, she could simply just push that red button and then that would notify me on my phone. It would set the alarm system off. The neighbors would be notified, you know, hey, something's going on. Um, and so that's a nice thing to have comes with that kit. There's just so much that comes with it. Or you could have this in a strategic place where you could, um, uh, for example, if you're walking to the front door, you could just grab it because it's sitting by the front door and you could have it in your hand if you're concerned. Um, my hands are, would be busy with other things, but uh, you could do that. Here's the uh, wall plug for the uh, security system. Uh, the control panel, uh, this sticks out. You can see when it sticks into the wall, it's going to be sticking out like that. And so it sticks out about that far from the wall. If here's the wall, I didn't like that. So I bought a flat um, USB connection. So the cable goes down the wall flat so it doesn't stick out. So that's just personal preference. And then here, uh, lastly, is the control panel. Okay. And here's the model. It's the S03 is uh, the one that I have, and it's Wi-Fi. Again, if the Wi-Fi goes down, it still works. If there's no Wi-Fi and the power goes off, the security panel right here has a battery built into it, and it's still talking to all of the, the, uh, the, the, the accessories here. The, the sirens will still go off. All those things will still happen, even if the Wi-Fi goes down. The only thing that won't happen is you won't get notified on your... Uh, on your mobile phone. Okay, here's the manual for the security system. Um, I simply just sat down and read through the manual. I went to the website, watched their, uh, their, their videos. I read this manual for the app and watched the videos and it was very easy to install. So um, what that looks like, and I'm just gonna get up here and show you, I mean, there's just a lot of equipment here. So that's what this looks like. It, and it's, like I said, about $150. It's a really, really good value. And I would recommend this particular kit uh, for your home. Now, uh, it also comes with stickers so you can number your, your um, doors and windows. I just took a pencil and wrote on the top of them. Um, but that's everything from the kit. How we have it set up here is, uh, you can see up here, is a motion sensor. And that motion sensor, I have tested it and I set it with, um, it's, it tilts and swivels, but I have set it. So if, uh, if somebody walks in, into, this, into this back door, and you can see I've got the, uh, one of the um, uh, uh, security stickers here. I had this up here before I installed my current system. 
So I've got that up here. That's that actually for one of my external cameras. So if somebody walks through this back door, um, this motion sensor will set it off. They can't, they can't get a foot inside the house and that will set that off. I've walked slowly to see if it was set off. Um, I try to go fast. It sets it off every time. Uh, it also will set off if anybody comes in through the uh, mudroom door. Of course, if they're coming through that door, they've already set off two alarms. And it will also set off, it also trigger if they come in through the front door. And you can see in the upper right-hand corner of that door, I've got a little alarm on there too. And on this door here, I have an alarm. So not only do I have uh, door and window alarms on there, and I've got them over here on this window too, is that I also have the motion sensor. So if they come into the house and reset the alarm, then uh, if, they, if they open the door and window, leave, the alarm resets, turns off. When they come back in, and the, they've left the door open so they will be able to get into the house, then um, those motion sensors will, will turn, will, will trigger. Okay? So, very, very affordable, inexpensive way to protect your family members. Um, I've seen um, too many videos and talk to too many people who've personally uh, been in called, uh, involved in break-ins. When I was in California, I told you about when I had the, uh, uh, my neighbors were being broken in and I saw that. Well, as I canvassed that neighborhood, the house directly across the street from my house, so my front door faced their front door, and when I was canvassing and let them know, hey, I'm a security person. I, I, I live here in the neighborhood, in the street. If you have any concerns about security and want to talk about um, any aspects at all, lighting or uh, alarms or whatever, just let me know. Uh, the, the lady uh, let me in her house and she told me, um, she, then she was a widow, but she told me that her husband worked at nights when he when he was alive. Or, she was in bed, someone broke into her house. They didn't have a security system. She, um, she woke up and somebody jumped on her on the bed and they beat her so bad, she was in the hospital for quite a while. Um, it had been three years since that incident and she was still in a very, very m bad place mentally. Physically, she was still had, still had issues. Um, that could have been prevented had she um, taken, had she had a, a, a warning that somebody had just broken in the house. All those sirens going off could have been all that was needed for, to scare them away. And she would have been, that's all, she would never had a confrontation. If she had a confrontation and if she had some self-protection devices available, um, that could have changed her outcome too. So very sad situations. Um, so just, uh, do your best to get yourself protected. I want to go ahead and address, uh, comments and questions here, uh, in, in the chat and make sure that I answer your questions. The reason why I do these lives is to answer your direct questions, which I really have a hard time getting back to the questions and post it later. So we'll do, we'll do this right now. Hopefully this has been good information for you, giving you some recommendations, some thoughts that you might be able to do for where, wherever you dwell. Okay. Um, says, uh, I've been uh, loving these uh, live streams. I personally only have chickens. Okay, we we're talking about quails there. I would love to expand to milk cow and sheep. Yep, setting up a homestead there. Good morning, everybody. Uh, North California. Um, somebody mentions that Simply Safe is an affordable system. So Simply Safe is the one of the systems I was talking about will, that will cost you two to three times the cost as this system will here. Uh, if you go on YouTube, you could just watch some videos on how you can easily hack that system. I'm not saying it's a bad system or a good system, it's just not the one that I recommend. Uh, it is considerably more expensive. Um, I think that this system, uh, you know, I'm not interested. This system, I think, can interact with um, apps that you can say, 
uh, for uh, Amazon products or other products that can, can can control your home. I don't I don't um, have it set with any of those. I don't. I try to minimize listening devices in my home. Uh, but whether it's Fortress or Simply Safe or something, get something that you're comfortable with. Get something and set it up and 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 use it so that you can um protect your your loved ones um all right uh my daughter has a simply safe system and they're perfectly happy with it and it comes with really big stickers and that the first thing you see when you come up to their house is they have these big stickers on the garage door and the front window and that's what i'm telling you is is very important to have uh, oh here it sounds my phone um uh, we have window warnings. Let me just turn this down here. We have um, window warning signs on the mail mailbox cluster on the street. It's for the neighborhood. Okay, very good. Uh, you have beams. Nice. I'm interested to know which ones you have. Those are normally really expensive. I'm not sure beams. I, I, I think you may be re, uh, referring to the motion sensors. Um, yeah, you, uh, just go to ldsprepper.com slash fortress and you'll be able to see the, uh, all these components here are very inexpensive and they come, they all work together. And you can add up to 100 different accessories on this one unit. They have different units. They have a an S02 and an S06. I like the S03 for what I was doing. Okay. Um, Mark says, my house was broken into about 9 a.m. and was scared away by approaching neighbor uh, walking up the street. They did more damage than uh, what they took. Yeah, kicking in a door, um, front door can be, be a mess. I don't know how they, what kind of damage they did, but thank goodness that they, uh, see, like, like I said, they're cowards. They're, you know, they're looking for an easy target and they saw someone come up the street and they ran. Um, if the alarm goes off, they're going to leave. So you don't always have a neighbor walking down your street when your house is getting broken into. Uh, I'm in Washington state. The sheriff's department got there when they could hours later, same thing happened when we were broken into in, uh, Washington. But of course we didn't know it, it was over an hour when, after we, after the event, when we got home. So it was, they could have taken, you know, an hour to clean us out over $20,000. Um, the alarm should say, we come uh, in peace, um, take us to your leader, okay? Uh, is there a security treatment for outbuildings? If so, what is the probable range from the receiver? Would the outbuilding need its own system? So this system uh, works up to 150 feet. So I would take whatever you want to be taken out there, a motion sensor, whatever, uh, a door, window alarm, and uh and i just set mine in test mode and uh i opened the door the window walking across walked across the uh, motion sensor and it worked in my entire house i haven't tried it out in the chicken coop or the greenhouse or other other places i do have outside security cameras and uh, motion sensors out there so i wasn't needing to set that up but 150 feet that's a pretty good distance i don't know if that's enough for you but from the control panel to that uh, accessory is what the book says. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Not talking to me. Does the window sensor active activate with a broken window or just is that open normal? Okay. So there are break glass modules and those work very, very well. If somebody breaks the window instead of opening the window, um, to circumvent the, from separating the, the magnet and the alarm, thus setting off the alarm. If they're breaking the window and coming through or breaking the glass and the door and coming through, um, it will, uh, the door window sensors won't, won't, uh, alarm, but there is a glass break module and it's set to that certain frequency, uh, that glass makes when it's broken. And so you can get those also with this system, just order glass break modules. Uh, in California, it was California, Utah, Utah. When we lived in Utah, um, one of the neighbors reported that when we were all at the community fireworks special, 
somebody had broken into their house that had a security system and they completely just robbed the whole house. Well, what happened is they actually took a chainsaw and chainsaw through the wall, the exterior wall of the house and get into the house that way. They're therefore not setting off the door and window alarms. Had they have had uh, infra infrared motion sensors inside the house, those people would have not have been robbed, okay? Because this would have turned on, turned on the security system. They didn't do that. They just went with the basic system. It didn't have the motion sensors. I'm telling you, the motion sensors are worth worth it. So uh, what happened is that apparently they they chainsawed through the wall while the fireworks were going off. So people and people were at the community park, and so they didn't hear the chainsaw getting, going through the wall. Um, Let's see, I have a home alarm. Is that good enough? Uh, yeah, this is an alarm system. I don't know what your home alarm is, but I'm just giving you the components that I think are important to, to have included in the home alarm. And so uh, I would have motion sensors. I'd have external sirens. I'd have uh, those be able to work when there's no power. So the built in power backup. Um, uh, if you want to get a um, um, a security company that monitors that and calls you if there's a problem, you can do that. It's not something that I feel is worth the money for me. Um, all right, uh, Nick says, don't know if this has been said already, but even the small bathroom windows are common entry points for burglars. Um, yes, that in, any any entry point, even a wall, you know, if, uh, if somebody wants to get in your house, and uh, they'll get in, okay? So then you have to deal, okay, what happens if somebody gets into the house? So uh, we have uh, small bathroom windows. Uh, they're about this big. So they're just basically there for ventilation. Um, so those are pretty safe, but if you have bigger ones that they could slide through, they're just gonna find a way to get in. And uh, so you need to be aware of that. So I don't have the sensors in my bathroom windows. If I had more sensors, I'd put, uh, you know, I might put them on there, but I do have the, the um, set up the motion sensor. So as soon as they come through that bathroom door, that motion sensor uh, triggers the alarm. So there is no way that you can enter my house without the security system um, recognizing that there is an intrusion. Um, okay. Are there smoke sensors alarm uh, available? There are smoke sensors uh, available. So yes, um, we have smoke sensors all over in our house, upstairs, downstairs, in hallways, bedrooms, offices, so forth. Uh, fishing line attached to good plastic bottles filled with bells thrown here and there. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't risk my life on that. Okay. Uh, but that certainly is an option. Again, this works without power because there's a backup battery uh, and uh, in, in the control system. So it's gonna work for, uh, I don't know, 24, 48 hours. And then um, uh, all these, uh, uh, they're just sending signals. There's batteries in each one of these devices. So um, bottles and so forth. If you can hear those, that's great. Okay, so that looks like, um, uh, let's see, there's a couple more questions coming in. It looks like we're about done here. Can you purchase additional motion sensors or window door sensors individually if you need more? Yes, um, you can purchase them directly. Um, um, you can buy these individually. You can buy any of these accessories individually. Uh, and again, this system will hold up to 100 accessories. So it came with eight door sensors, so that's eight out of 100. That leaves me another um, 92. Then it com came with uh, the door sen uh, the motion sensors, so that's uh, 89 that I have still available. So in my house, I still have uh, 89 different accessories that I could add. I mean, that that's before a mansion, okay? I don't have that many doors and windows. And so you could add individual glass break modules, you could add more motion sensors, um, all those different things. Okay, um, I hope that uh, this helps you. Um, 
I hope that you are never in a situation where you need it, just like when you have personal protection that you, you know, that you carry on, carry on you. But um, unfortunately, there are people every single day who are robbed and who are assaulted and could have prevented this largely if there were window stickers and if there were sirens going off and if they had self-protection devices uh, on them. So uh, don't be a victim when you're informed and you can budget for this and get this taken care of um, and protect your loved ones. And that's the primary reason why we have this is to, um, to protect our protect life. Okay, let's see. All right, um, no one, interesting, no one's mentioned a dog for a security system. Um, my brother has a, a German Shepherd. Uh, they make noise, but really the, the dogs that make the most noise are the little dogs, um, but that doesn't replace the security system. And that's a family member that could be injured or killed in an intrusion. So I hope this information helps. Um, if you have other questions that come up, uh, please uh, post those down below. If you're looking for a system that I recommend for a very, very affordable price, uh, I would recommend the Fortress system. And you can uh, you go to ldsprepper.com slash Fortress and take a look at the base system. And then next week I will have a link to a, a discount code and where you can get the, the bigger systems like I just showed you here today. I know this isn't gardening, uh, which a, a lot of people watch my channel, but this is a LDS Prepper channel. This is about being prepared. And I, if I can save somebody's life or you can save a member's life or somebody from being assaulted, like my neighbor across the street who was beat literally within an inch of her life, um, it'll be a, a good $250 spent or whatever, whatever system you buy. You can get a base system for obviously less than that. But I hope that you get the what I would consider essential components to protect your loved ones. Um, okay, so thank you very much. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. We sleep much better at night knowing that we will know instantly if somebody is intruding and uh, and we know exactly what at what point in the home they are breaking in and uh, we're prepared to uh, we're prepared for that situation we've drilled for that situation we've practiced for that situation and um, hopefully you can be in the same situation where you can rest well while you're at sleep while you're at home during the day always have the security system turned on with the chimes I have all these uh, window sensors and door sensors set for chime. Uh, and um, when you're away, you can be monitoring your house. I'll be doing uh, follow-up videos on the camera systems that I have. I have uh, three different camera systems, uh, all independent of each other. And uh, I'll be talking about the perimeter alarm system uh, that uh, I, I have also. So be well and uh, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you later. Oh, be before I go, I almost forget to mention, um, I, I did forget to mention, um, I placed orders for Berkey. Um, they, were, they were out of stock for three weeks. They, they came back in stock. They sold out in 20 minutes. So if you are considering getting any of these things, I don't care if it's lumber or a security system or whatever it may be, there is a severe supply chain issue going on worldwide in all aspects of of life, food, products, um, so forth. So you may want to place an order for whatever it is that you're interested in ordering. And if it's uh, back ordered, get yourself in that queue. And uh, because I was able to fill a lot of those orders, but I wasn't able to fill all of them because people had waited. They're waiting for things that are in stock. That may not be the normal anymore. The normal may be things are not in stock. And so you're going to have to pre-order. There isn't any Berkey dealer that I know, regardless of what their website says, that actually has inventory in stock. So if you are looking to get a Berkey water filter system, I highly recommend you go to ldsprepperstore.com, place your order immediately so you're at the front of the queue. I will be filling orders again a week from Monday. I think that is on the 15th. Let me just check. Yeah, the 15th. And so I, 
um, we'll be able to get all the previous orders placed and uh, new orders that are coming in. So that. Um, if you're looking to get your garden started, you can go to ldsprepperstore.com and get your micronutrient mix for all your, all your vegetables, your roses, your fruit trees, everything that you have. Uh, you mix this up so you can get 60 pounds of weekly nutrient plant food. If you're looking to um, learn how to garden, I just ordered two more cases because I almost ran out of the Midlander Garden Course book, our, our Gardening Bible. This is the book that we use. And uh, we'll be getting more into, into that as gardening season comes. But uh, you can order that at ldspepperstore.com. And then, uh, of course, we have all my wife's herb books uh, that are available. These this have been very, very popular. Uh, this is the med uh, medicinal er uh, weeds. Uh, how to find those and use those. This is her first aid uh, kit, how to use uh, herbs for first aid. Uh, very good, very detailed. You can get more information at ldsprepperstore.com. Uh, this is her book on uh, basic remedies. So things that you can make just from things you have around the house or, or sources where you can get herbs. And then uh, culinary herbs is her biggest one and how to use herbs in your food but also get the medicinal value from those herbs so those are all available at ldsprepperstore.com um, get prepared people if ye are prepared you shall not fear if you're not prepared uh it can it, it can be a very bad situation so let's keep yourself out of that situation um all right thank you very much you guys have a great weekend we'll talk to you later